Oh, um, I did, uh, what was, uh, um, sorry about that. Um, it's not because NVIDIA's event was boring. No, no, no. It's not that at all. It's just really late. And in fact, NVIDIA's event was a tie with AMD. <laughs> okay, maybe you didn't get that if you didn't see it. But anyway, I'll get to it in just a second. NVIDIA just had their Computex keynote and it's pretty much exactly what we expected. I mean, exactly. Nothing more. Maybe a little bit less because I was hoping for something a little bit more than this. Anyway, let's just get right to it. First up, the RTX 3080 Ti is official. As you can see right here, the GPU was basically exactly what was leaked, except for one thing in the worst possible way. You can see right here, let me move this, it starts at $1199. Honestly, I have zero clue why NVIDIA would have done something like this. Clearly, this is made to compete with the RX 6900 XT. Makes no sense why they wouldn't do a 999 MSRP. Of course, that MSRP is pretty much irrelevant because like all of the other releases, there's a pretty high chance that it won't be available at launch. And with that, make sure to pick up the GamerMeld Paper Launch t-shirt at store.gamermeld.com. And also, I'm going to have everything I go over today in the description with an affiliate link. It does help the channel out. Obviously, there's a decent chance that you won't be able to buy one. But if you are lucky enough, if you wouldn't mind just using those links, it doesn't cost you anything more. Anyway, so $11.99 seems a bit absurd if you ask me, but of course, like I said, the price is going to be significantly more when it's released anyway, when scalpers and miners get their hands on it. Regardless, it is available June 3rd, and it comes with 12 gigabytes GDDR6X memory, and I'm going to go over the core count and everything like that in just a second. Next up, there is the 3070 Ti. Once again, not at all surprised. I've been discussing this for quite a while. This one has eight gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, is available June 10th, and it starts, you cannot see this, at $599. Now, the interesting part is really just kind of comparing the amount of cores, which gives you a decent idea of what kind of performance you can expect. Right here, video cards has it pretty well lined up. You can see that the 3080 Ti is so unbelievably close to the 3090, especially given there's such little difference in quite a bit of games between the 3080 and 3090, when there's significantly more of a difference. So we're looking at 80 GPU clusters versus 82, 10,496 CUDA cores versus 10,240, 82 versus 80, and the list goes on. Now it does have slightly slower clocks, but really nothing significant, which honestly is a pretty major theme here except when it comes to memory. The real difference is, of course, 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X versus 12. And to be honest, this it really just brings me back to the price. You can technically say that you're essentially getting a 3090 with far less memory because you don't have an 8K really anything, because basically no one does, for a few hundred dollars less. And that is nice, but I still don't get why they aren't pricing this where the 6900 XT is. But all of that aside, basically this is what we're looking at here. And then let's move on to the 3070 Ti, which is actually somewhat oddly priced as well. You can see here, we're looking at uh, 8,704 CUDA cores, versus 6,144, and yet it's only $100 less, or should I say the 3080 is only $100 more. Honestly, I would suggest most people would probably rather just get a 3080 if they can. Of course, we're gonna have to see some benchmarks, and Nvidia did provide some of them, although they aren't really that useful. You can see here that they have the 3080 Ti, except it's pitted against the 1080 Ti and 2080 Ti. Basically, we're probably just gonna have to wait for third-party reviews to really get any idea, or 
at least I would say from what we've seen, it's going to be fairly close to the 3090. Potentially even little to no difference between the two, but I, I definitely cannot say that for sure. I'm sure that there is at least a little bit of a difference, but there's almost certainly a reason NVIDIA is only comparing this, only showing us this versus older GPUs. Anyway, I hate to say it, but that is pretty much, oh yeah, I forgot. There actually is one really big story out of this. We've all been pronouncing the TI models wrong this whole time. Yep. If you watch the video, he says TI like this. The GeForce RTX 3080 TI, 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 TI. So yeah, we've been doing it wrong, saying it wrong this whole time. It's not the 3080 TI, it's the 3080 TI fighter, TI. Anyway, I've got to get to sleep. It's pretty late. I do hope you like the video. Um, mostly not that many surprises today, except a little bit from AMD. Definitely make sure to check out my AMD video. Anyway, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.